OMG BG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst unboxing, guys. Today we have the Random Booster B158. Yo, gold version. It's basically the full gold Random Booster. You got it. You guys know how we do it. We have the whole set, so we have one of each bay from this collection. And the prize Beyblade of this set is. Burn Phoenix, also known as Burn Fireblaze from the Metal Fight series. This is a remastered version in Beyblade Burst now. Dude, Fireblaze. I know, right? So like, nostalgic, Hearing man. that name just kind of rings a bell um, in a good way. If you guys didn't know, Burn Fireblaze and its character was pretty powerful back in Metal Fusion, like the first season of Metal Fight. Other than that prize bay, we also get some other pretty crazy bays in here. In Beyblade Burst GT, bays can go gold turbo. So these layers are now recolored to represent those gold turbo bays. And there's also a couple like Chosy Valkyrie and uh, Materials, those are non-GT bays, and they're just called the regular gold version. Even the packaging, man, it's like all golden orangey, super cool. Um, let's take a look at the back of the box, we'll show you really quickly here. We got a Burn Fireblaze character, it's Jenga's dad in the mask. Phoenix! Pretty, pretty cool. I like how he used to scream his name out all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then also the reveal back in the day, that yeah, was pretty epic. that was huge. Yeah, and then it comes with Yell and Wedge. The other base, we will open them up and then we'll show you the parts too. Those are pretty cool parts. Um, just the layer itself is the Gold Turbo version, so it's not like its original combo. It does come with random booster parts. So right before we get started with the unboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. We're so close to one mil, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Man, it's so satisfying to open up everything at once. We got Fireblaze right over here. I think this is the layer. Let's take a quick look. Sneak peek. Oh snap. Oh nice. Yep. And just like with other remakes, it's a lot bigger than the original Burn Fire Blaze. Let's put the stickers on all the bays and we'll lay it out and then show you guys all the parts. Before we look at all the bays, this teaser actually came with the Burn Phoenix Beyblade packaging. Look at this. Sick. March 14th, new season. New season, Beyblade Burst Sparking. I don't know, what is this part? We've never seen something like this before. It's so tiny. It seems like some sort of chip or a like core mechanism that like assembles the bay together. We've seen some leaked images of the brand new series, so potentially, we will see more in March. So guys, stay tuned. All right guys, we got all the stickers on the Beyblade Burst Random Booster Volume 19 set. So starting off in the middle is our prize bay. This is Burn, Phoenix, Yell, and Wedge. So out of all the bays, this is the only one that's not gold, I guess. And it's the only one that's original colors. So it's a special one. Basically, if you buy this set, you probably want this bay. Even if you don't know Burn Phoenix or like the bay itself, a lot of other people would appreciate it, so, so it's definitely worth something. So let's talk about our other bays that we get from this set. We have, starting off from this corner, we have Grand Dragon, Aero Dash, Lift, Flugel, and then the Go Wait. Very long name because it is a GT bay after all. Moving on to our next bay, we have Rock Dragon 5, Jaggy Dash, and then the Soul Wait. Jaggy Dash is a new addition introduced in this set. And then we have the third bay, Poison Hydra, 8 Dash, Angle, Fusion Dash, and then Gen Wait. A lot of dash names in that one. Moving on, we have Knockout Odin, 12, Operate Dash, 10. Operate Dash is probably uh, the one I'm eyeing on, because this is also a brand new part introduced in this set. Yo, and Knockout Odin, you can only get in that random layer collection from a little bit ago. 
And now you can get it in a gold version from buying random booster. So that's pretty sweet. And I can't wait to try out that operate dash driver, make it jump around. And then next up we have Bushin Ashura 13 Anchor Zen. You guys get the point here. Most of these are gold turbo versions if it's a GT Bay. And I guess um, if you're really interested in the gold base, this is a set that you need to get because um, if you were trying to buy the gold turbo versions previously, they were pretty hard to find because they were like usually the WBBA limited edition version or you had to like buy the starters until you get lucky. Um, there is a slight like variation compared to the other gold turbo base that you get from WBBA, but um, overall it's pretty much the same. And then finally, we have something that's not from GT. This is Chosy Valkyrie 3 Guard. So it's not a GT base, so it can't go gold turbo. So it's just called the gold version. And then last but not least, we have Shining Amaterials 0 and then Destroy Dash. Ooh, Destroy Dash once again, hey? That's a pretty good driver. Yeah, so like this version here is like not gold and it's not gold turbo, just the burning version. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I guess it does have a bit of gold on the, like the outer blades. Uh, overall, it's still pretty cool. Amaterios is a pretty crazy attacker, so it's pretty fun bay to use. Yeah, you can only get it from a limited edition from like a couple years ago, so pretty rare. All right, this is Burn Phoenix, the prize bay, also known as Burn Fireblaze, if you guys played the Hasbro version. And on the outer ring, the original version is supposed to be like all metal, but this is just plastic because it is Beyblade Burst System, so it's plastic on plastic action. Dude, it's nice that it still has like the etched in marking there saying burn wheel. Yeah. Sweet, man. Exactly. The fusion wheel, what's called uh, like previously, that's the burn wheel. So even though it's not metal, it still weighs quite a bit. Like not the heaviest thing ever, but um, there are some metal inserts on the like inner portion of the layer that gives it weight. The clicking mechanism is a little bit weak. Uh, take a quick look at the teeth over here. You will see why. And so we have a yell disc. I remember this from uh, Asin Anubis. Fits pretty well with the burn layer. And then look at this color of this driver. This just screams metal fusion. Just shit, like that pale yellow. Yeah. They like they copied that color for sure. That I, well, they, they didn't copy that. They did it on purpose, obviously. Yeah. They probably match it. went back to the drawing board and uh, be like, what color do we use for that bay? And then they just kind of found the exact same color from previously and then added it into this combo. Yeah, they gave it wedge because, you know, they had metal sharp in the metal fusion days. So yeah, that's I nice. guess this is like the most similar. Yeah, so this is a stamina type Beyblade. So we'll see how it does in this uh, stadium. Um, the wedge driver though, not a huge fan, uh, like performance wise, probably not the best, but it does fit the theme of Burn Phoenix. And most of you guys who get this bay will probably not be using this in the battle because it is pretty limited edition. It's more of a collector's item, I would say, similar to all the other remastered bays that we've seen before. All right, let's weigh it. Let's put it together. You can see and here it's not that tight. 48.02. That's so light. Lightweight, man. Dang, is this guy gonna like die in the stadium? Not even 50 grams. Hey, um, we have Jenga's dad now, so maybe we can uh, battle with Jenga one day. All right, so uh, let's do some test battles with this guy and with our other Random Booster 19 base. All right, Burn Phoenix, first time in the stadium. Test spin, three, two, one, let's rip. Where's driver though? Seems very uh, unbalanced. It's wobbling a lot. Probably the wedge driver, I would say. Wow, this is really bad. <laughs> How is this a stamina type? Dude, like, what kind of stamina are you gonna get from this? It's actually pretty bad. Um, well, I guess the original Burn Fireblaze was a stamina type, so they had to stick with that. Well, let's just do some battles with this guy and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go, Poison Hydra. Three, two, one, shoot. Remember, first Phoenix is a lightweight. Maybe you can win. You never know. All these gold days are so sick, man. Yeah. They're so nice. You won! Nice. You done did it. Next up, let's use Ashura. Another gold turbo bay. Three, Three two, two, one, two. Oh. 
all these random parts on these combinations here. It's pretty cool to see the gold turbo base in action. What? Yeah. I won again? Dude, Fireblaze killing it, man. <laughs> killing it. Yo, I like this one, man. The Chozy Valkyrie looks pretty sick. Although I don't like the parts though, but it still looks pretty cool. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Huge hits. I'm so surprised that Bird Fireblaze could take those hits. Well, just because it's like, you know, a little bit looser than what we used to doesn't mean that it can't battle. True. Oh, well, not bad nice. though, not bad. Yeah. Likely the circular, like, energy layer is really helping the bay. And this one is sweet because, like, we don't get to see much action from this because we don't even battle it much. Knockout Odin, dude, gold, it's so tiny. Three, two, one, two. Oh, big jumps that uh, operate dash. I kind of feel bad for the people who bought the gold turbo <laughs> versions for like $200 though. Yo, look at this. <laughs> no stamina. <laughs> Good old rock dragon. Three, Three two, one, two. Hearts, man. Rock Dragon just chilling. Such a bad stamina tice. All on the outside. I mean, the lair is like so round and stuff like that. It's good that like, you can't get like big hits. Oh, okay. Oh, look, look at that. Still did something. So, Shining and Materials. Man, back in the day, this thing was sick. Such a good attack type. It's so tight, too. Destroy Dash. Three, two, one, shoot. Bird Phoenix is a little Oh, huge recoil. Pretty yeah. sick. Shining Air Materials looked like it was so small in the stadium. Yeah, I guess Bird Phoenix is still doing pretty well. It's not the worst ever, but just really wobbly. I mean, you have to remember that you're going up against the most random combos possible, right? That is so, true. it's like if you're actually trying to beat Bird Phoenix, I'm sure you guys could come up with a combo that, you know, can beat it. So, Grand Dragon. Three, two, one, two. Odin must have no stamina. Man, and why is Flugel jumping around like that too? That's, <laughs> that's the funniest part too. It's like, look how low it is with that lift frame. That is so it's bad. So funny. Such it's like, a bad combo. It's legit just like jumping on the stadium. is like making so much contact with the stadium floor. Definitely need to customize. It's so funny. All right, guys. So that was our unboxing of the Random Booster Volume 19 with Burn Phoenix as the prize bay. What do you guys think about this set? Do you guys like the gold version bays or do you guys rather get just the original Burn Phoenix Beyblade? Because it's actually pretty hard to get the gold turbo bays outside of like the Random Booster, I guess. Because um, you would have to buy many many bays before you are lucky enough to get one of these or you have to go through the WVBA limited edition shops so yeah that's kind of it for unboxing let us know in the comments below what you guys think and as always keep so